Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Big Pum, coach of your Rochester Ride-Ons, and here we are, week six versus the Choice Specs, uh, coach of the Orlando Magikarps. And now, uh, looking at the team preview, uh, you can see I brought Mega Blastoise, Kiram, Black, Spiritomb, Tornadus, Incarnate, and then Rapier and Florges. Um, now, the sets this week are pretty offensive. I had to go pretty offensive this week because I'm pretty. I was pretty afraid of uh, uh, Choice Specs's roster here. He's got he's got a lot of bulk on it. I'll lead you off his whole roster, and then you can see uh, which six mons he brought already. But I'll go ahead and give you the full roster that he has, just in case you guys didn't know. He's rocking Dragonite, Mandibuzz, Aerodactyl, Mismagius, Sceptile, Pyroar, Mega Slowbro, Scolipede, Snorlax, Gardevoir, and Magneton. So I'm definitely fearing the Magneton, the Snorlax. And the Slowbro, Mega Slowbro, because he's got a very fat team, as well as the Mandibuzz. Very fat team. So uh, during team prep, we decided that we wanted to go more of an offensive route. And we didn't want to get caught in like a stall war with uh, a lot of his mons. Because uh, uh, Mandibuzz, Snorlax, Slowbro, and Magneton could all be extremely bulky and kind of wall some of my Pokemon. So we definitely went with more offensive build. Like uh, Blastoise is uh, super offensive. He's like modest, max special attack, a lot of HP. Um, he's only rocking a little bit of speed. Um, I think he only outsped uh, base 80. So I think he just outsped, uh, what's his face? Mandibuzz. He outsped zero speed Mandibuzz. Um, then we also got Kieran Black uh, just there to hit things. Uh, he has like, the only switch in he had to Kieran Black was Snorlax. The only safe switch in. Um, and he didn't bring it. So that was a big thing. Because even Magneton can't switch in because uh, Earth Power will kill. So unless he's like rocking like a scarf, then I'd have to be afraid of that. And I did uh, I did watch out for that in this battle. Uh, then we got Spirit Tomb. Um, Spirit Tomb was mostly designed to uh, take on the the Combine Slowbro, or also uh, it kind of walls Snorlax as well. So if he's Curse Lax, uh, depending on the set of Curse Lax he brought, he could have been walled by Spirit Tomb altogether. Um, but as you see, he didn't really bring Snorlax, so we'll see what Spirit Tomb does. And then we also got Tornadus. We got Tornadus, uh, one of my fastest mons. Uh, he's there to out he outspeeds everything on the team, it except for the Aerodactyl. He doesn't outspeed Aerodactyl. But. Super fast Pokemon. He's packing uh, just a lot of moves just to kind of hit things. He's got like Sludge Wave, uh, Super Power to hit the Snorlax that didn't come. Uh, I'm trying to remember his other move. He has U Turn and then something else. Uh, I forget what the other one was. But we also got Rhyperior. He's basically a Stealth Rocker. He's carrying uh, Stealth Rocks, Rock Tomb, and uh, Earthquake. Pretty much his main hitting moves here. And we also got Florges. We got a Combine Sweeper. Uh, we got Combine, Synthesis, Toxic, and uh, Moon Blast. Because, I mean, he doesn't really have. A so if I could take out the Magneton. Uh, Florges is going to be in really great shape. I was really afraid of the Scolipede because that would have really uh, shut down a Florges sweep. Um, we're also packing a Babiri Berry on Florges just in case he wanted to um, pack some steel coverage on things like Dragonite or Aerodactyl or uh, pretty much anything, you know, just to cover that unexpected steel coverage. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get right into the battle. This was a pretty quick match. It was a lot of fun. Um, definitely glad to be back. Uh, in the NPA, we did have a bye week, week five, so that's why there was no match uploaded. I mentioned it in the week four battle against Cobain that we didn't have a match week five, but that sometimes that goes missed. Uh, also, I misnamed this Blastoise. I'm sorry, Lindo, you lucked out. Uh, Lindo nicknamed the Pokemon this week, and I forgot to change this one. I don't. It's normally named Brumac, but I forgot. But anyway, so this was the ideal matchup. I thought he was gonna go for the Suicide Rocks. So uh, we didn't bring Skull this week. We only brought uh, we brought Ice Beam, Dark Pulse, Aura Sphere, and Rapid Spin because that's all the coverage we needed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw off a big ice beam here because i kind of figured he might have been like a focus actually just to get the rocks up which wouldn't have been a bad set but smart of him to preserve it so he goes right into a good switch in magneton um if i really wanted to be bold i could have focused black or aura sphere right there and that would have done loads i think that actually would have killed depending on his set obviously but that would have done loads of damage uh i have to switch out here i cannot let blastoise take a thunderbolt because um i need blastoise for in the game because if you saw the team preview blastoise pretty much has moves to hit everything on his team we definitely have to be careful of that. And we switch into the Thunderbolt, so that's awesome. Um, no damage taken there. And this time, I'm going to take my turn just to get out my rocks. I know he's not going to stay in. Um, a Flash Cannon would have done a lot of damage, but I was willing to take the risk. I didn't think he was going to go for it. And I was pretty sure he was choice, uh, just based on team prep. But I'm going to go ahead and go for the rock. Uh, sorry, the Stealth Rocks. And this is where I make a play, and the analysts are going to tear me apart for this. I made such a bad play here, guys. So stupid. Very, very bad play. Don't do this. I was so afraid of Combine Slowbro that I thought he was going to set up a Combine here because it seemed like a pretty free Combine. I was so sure he was going to set up Combine. I'm an idiot. I went for Roar this turn because I wanted to phase him out. I wanted to try to get in the Dragonite or anything that's weak to rocks. Very stupid play on my part. Blastoise was a 1000% to switch in because I can eat a Scald. 
Uh, even if he had calm minded, I could have dark pulsed him and he wouldn't win that war because I could get flinches. I could get a crit. Or, you know, you can't crit uh, Mega Slow Bro. But anyway, I could get flinches. Um, I would just be doing enough damage that he wouldn't be able to heal it off. Anyway, like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and throw a dark pulse off here because nothing can really switch in. Um, here, I was afraid of the Choice Scarf. I definitely still was trying to avoid taking a Thunder. So I'm just going to go right out into Spirit Tomb, rocking the Assault Vest. Um, eat up this Thunder since I lost my electric immunity i know the analysts are going to tear me apart for sacking off right period that was such a bad play on my part i'm sorry guys that was really bad um i definitely over uh i over prepped not over prepped you know i overplayed considering that he was he, he wasn't he wasn't going to combine there that wasn't a good play on his part but anyway um i'm going to eat up two thunderbolts and i'm going to throw off another shadow ball that crit didn't matter at all it was going to die to a shadow ball either way um unless he's like max pedef but he was i don't think he was anyway so, uh, Gardevoir comes in here. I have, I don't really have that many good switch-ins to Gardevoir. Um, this thing is actually a problem, especially if he's Scarf, Scarf Gardevoir, which I'm, which I was, like, predicted his set, because, uh, Scarf Gardevoir is pretty common. Um, I'm gonna throw off a Sucker Punch here. No reason not to. Um, if he had been sub, then I would have been really sad. <laughs> if he would have been sub, I would have been sad, but, uh, I would have been able to go into Blastoise and break the sub anyway, so it's okay. So Gertrude does go down here, but I did pick up a kill this week at least. Uh, Gertrude definitely doesn't get to put in the work that I did last season, but that's okay, you know. Uh, we still brought Gertrude like every week. It does its job. Um, here I go into Blastoise, so I just want to whittle this thing down. Uh, I can throw off a Dark Pulse and it'll do like 50%, so I'm like, I'll just go into here. Um, now here's another bad play that the analysts are going to rip me in for another one. <laughs> My bad, guys. Um, I definitely didn't make the best plays this week, but it's okay. So we go off and throw off a Dark Pulse, and I have the Ice Beam. So this turn, I should have clicked Ice Beam. I had no reason not to click Ice Beam versus this thing. Really, there's actually no reason. I know he's going to defog here. Um, I think he's going to defog. So I make a really weird play, and I go into Tornadus, trying to get the Defiant Boost from the defog. That is why I did this play. Because if I got the Defiant Boost from the defog, um, Super Power would probably kill, because I have Super Power. So a plus two Super Power into the Mandibuzz probably would have killed and just been overall really scary. So seeing that he didn't go for it, I'm just going to go for the U-turn. I don't know what he's going to do here. But I'm just going to get out of here. I'm pretty confident that he's not going to defog in front of a defiant Pokemon. So I go right back out into Blastoise. And I'm going to do what I should have done before. And I'm just going to click Ice Beam. But I'm going to take a knockoff. Um, no better Pokemon to take a knockoff with than Blastoise. So we eat up that knockoff. Obviously because you can't knock off a Mega Stone. So it loses that boost in damage. But anyway. So I'm going to throw off the Ice Beam. And you're going to see just how much damage this does. Boom. Clean damage. No reason I shouldn't have clicked it earlier. Absolutely no reason I shouldn't have clicked it earlier. I definitely was overplaying. I was trying to make plays and I didn't need to was the problem here. Um, that's another thing in Pokemon. You kind of really need to know when you need to make plays and when you don't. And I was definitely trying to make plays when I didn't need to. I had safe answers and I'm over here trying to flex. So <laughs> that's my bad guys. But thankfully that's the last of the super bad plays out of the way. But uh, losing Rhyperior that early was a really, a really bad mistake. Uh, he goes into Mega Slowbro here. Not quite sure why. Uh, he knows I have the Dark Pulse, and Dark Pulse is going to hurt him no matter what set he is. And I do outspeed this thing, I am going to throw a Dark Pulse off, and I am going to erase this Slowbro from existence. Goodbye. So that's really cool to see Slowbro go down without putting up too much of a fight. So that's pretty cool. So that thing goes down, and then in comes the Gardevoir again. Like I said, I kind of wish we brought Skull this week or something just to hit the Gardevoir. Because uh, getting damage on this thing would have been nice. I only had Dark Pulse, which only hits for neutral. Um, I mean, it still does a decent chunk of damage. He has the Thunderbolt. Um, I knew I could live any hit he had unless he was specs, but if he was specs, I would have been fine with that anyway. If he was specs, that would have been okay with me, but I would have known if he was specs from that damage. Anyway, I knock him down pretty far, which is super nice, and he goes off and throws it off another Thunderbolt, and he's going to take out the Blastoise. No problem there. Crit didn't matter at all. But anyway, Blastoise goes down to the Thunderbolt. No problem. And I'm going to go into Florges because I, uh, Florges is super specially bulky. I can set up a combine on this thing all day. I'm pretty sure he was choice, so I'm like, he's stuck in the Thunderbolt. It's not going to do anything to me. I'm going to combine. And this is where he's going to get in a pretty bad situation. <laughs> he's in a pretty bad situation here because I go ahead and get off a combine. That's all I needed. Um, so that's pretty neat. Uh, so now I'm at plus one, plus one uh, for special attack, special defense. He actually switches out here, and I went up for a Moonblast. Um, he probably thought I was going to keep uh, combining up, but I knew I didn't need that many, so I didn't want to get too greedy with it. Anyway, I'm going to throw off a Moonblast here and do a decent chunk of damage to this Aerodactyl. Boof! Goodbye. So, that does a big chunk of damage. Um, also, this uh, Floridius doesn't really have much special attack investment. I think it's pretty much defensive. It's like defensive combined. 
Uh, he gets up rocks here, which is a brilliant play on his part. Rocks was such a smart play on his part. I thought he was just going to go for damage on me, then pick me off with Dragonite. But getting the rocks up really helps him out with some of the rolls. Like, it hurts Kiram. It hurts Tornadus. It really helps him with some of the rolls later on in the game. But anyway, he goes out in Amanda Buzz. Not sure about this play. Not quite sure why I did it, but it doesn't end up mattering anyway. I'm going to toss off a Moonblast. I outspeed this thing. We actually sped crept this thing last minute. I'm like, you know, we might want to outspeed the Mandibuzz. It might end up being important. And we made the judgment decision, outsped the Mandibuzz, and we actually got that Moonblast off. So that was really cool. Uh, it required uh, quite a few EVs. It took like 52 EVs, so that was a little bit. In comes Dragonite. I'm expecting Z-Move. Um, I was either expecting the Z-Move or the Dragon Dance. Uh, really good uh, Dragon Dance play. And you know what? I'm scared to death of weakness policy right now weakness policy actually would have ruined me but uh you'll see what happens here thankfully he's not weakness policy that actually would have lost me the if he was weakness policy right there i would have lost the game hands down thankfully he wasn't um he's not gonna be able to take me out with this earthquake i am gonna live i am a very defensive florges and thankfully i am gonna live this hit Ooh, on the clean 45 and i'm gonna get to throw another moon blast off also important to note he did get the rocks off the field which i oh I, man i should have tried i don't know man I didn't play around uh, rocks and stuff that well this game, especially with a Dragonite on the field. That actually could have lost me the game, these series of plays here. Then he goes back into Gardevoir here, who, um, ah, uh, this play is so scary, man. Uh, if he Scarf Gardevoir, he could act, I'll talk about that a bit after. But anyway, he goes for the Moonblast. Definitely outspeeds, no doubt about it. I'm plus one, and I live on three. And I get a Moonblast off. And he's dead. <laughs> and he's dead. So we go off. And we pull out a 3-0 victory on Choice Specs on the back of a Calm Mind Florges. Florges picks up four kills this week. Absolutely insane work put in by Florges. Now let's talk about that last turn there a little bit. Um, that roll was heavily in my favor. There was only... Um, so the way uh, it breaks down is uh, the moves can do different energies and uh, damage. So the max he could have done was 45. I had 45 health left. He needed the absolute highest max roll. To kill me in that hit and so say he kills me in that hit right i die um and then i could go into well kiram would die uh because of rocks because it would take away 75 percent he scarfed in the moon blast it would kill kiram now uh tornadus <coughs> excuse me um tornadus would not uh it would be really close um he does a minimum of 68 percent and i would be at 75 percent from uh stealth rock so that would have been another close roll i think the roll for on tornadus would have been like 68 percent to 81 percent so it would have been like a mid roll 50 50 shot of tornadus living the hit it was super close i'm really thankful floor just lived i did not play that game very well um i'm not gonna blame prep or anything um i just didn't play it well um i overplayed um what his sets were um i i was really afraid of combine slow bro for no reason i had blastoise because even at plus one, uh, Dark Pulse is still doing loads to uh, Slowbro, and he's really not doing that much back to me. Um, again, unnecessarily afraid of Calm Mind. And then on the Mandibuzz play, I should have just Ice Beamed. Again, no reason not to Ice Beam. Um, again, it's Pokemon, you know, we're not always going to play the best. But we did manage to come out with a 3-0 victory. He prepped really well. Um, there were a couple sets that if he would have brought instead, that he actually would have just won. Like I said, if he had brought Weakness Policy Dragonite, I would have lost the game. No doubt about it. Um super scary it's my fault for letting rocks get down for rocks for letting rocks get defogged away um but anyway guys great game we're now four and one in the mpa we're doing really well we're two and oh in the division because uh specs is not in our division so we're two and oh in our division which is super important we're looking really good for the playoff guys um we're gonna try super hard uh me and my coaching staff are prepping super hard uh next week we go against duncan knee deep who is a divisional rival and if we win that game guys i swear we're making playoffs if we win that game we can make playoffs um it's gonna be super important you're gonna see me put a lot of time into that match like i said guys i'm gonna try not to uh i'm not gonna hang up too much on these bad plays this week uh, i'll shake it off but like i said guys i hope you enjoyed the video uh leave a like down below if you did and uh let me know if you're hyped for week seven versus duncan ed probably gonna be one of our most intense matches of the season similar to cobain and whatnot anyway guys i'm gonna get the hell out of here thank you so much for watching and peace, baby.